Then therefore, he has three obligations towards you. The first one, because he's a Muslim. The second one, because he is your relative. The third one, because he's your neighbor. So in other words, he has three rights over you. The second one, it can be a neighbor who is just a believer, a Muslim, but is not related to you. So he has two rights over you. As a Muslim and as a neighbor. And the third one is a neighbor who is not a believer. So you don't say because he's not a believer, then he hasn't got a right over you. He has a right over you because he is your neighbor. And then maybe Sheikh will tell you how many houses you'll be on your right for him to be your neighbor and how many will be your left on your left for him to be your neighbor, inshallah. So I'll leave that for the shuyuk to take over that. Because, because you like, uh, 40 days. Sheikh <laughs> 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 said for those people that believe you, they only need your 40 days and uh, 40, 40. So you can't 40 houses on your right and 40 houses on your left. They are your neighbors, inshallah. Jazakallah khair for sorting that so quickly. So they start counting. <laughs> so inshallah, when you go, we start counting the houses. Yeah. Inshallah, you know those ones that put the nearest one to your house, it has more obligation than the one after that. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. So we move on. Jarid al Qurba. Then he said, Well, Jarid Junab, that is your neighbor who is not related to you. Yes? And then he said, Was Sahibi bil Jamb. Your companions. <laughs> Who is with you? This has many meanings, brothers and sisters. Many meanings. If you start in explaining this, it's a lot. Let's start with the person sitting to you next to you now. He's your, he's your jari. He was your sahib bil jam. Yes, Sheikh is my sahib bil jam at the moment. And even if we split, still we have sit together. Yes, he's a sahib bil jam. So he has some obligation. That I have to give him, there's some obligation he has to give me. Yeah, I'm not going to sit next to him and start poking him, and start pushing him, mm. and saying, you know, I'm too tight here. Yeah. Then he has a response, he has rights. Those rights, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't abandon them. <coughs> and we know when we sit in cars, especially in Africa, when the car is actually packed, and the people sitting next to you, and some people are not sleep, smelling nicely, and we know how we treat them sometimes. Sometimes you do what are no That is not, you're not giving them their right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you have to be very careful on that. You better get off and start making them feel bad. Especially you're wearing hijab or you're wearing your hat, you're wearing your thawb and you're treating people demonizing them. That's not going to be a good way of making that one. Oh, please make sure you perfumed well before you go out. <laughs> yes. Of course. Yes. For a believer, it is. But for non-believers, you're not going to go and tell them that. They're not going to listen to you. Yeah. So therefore, they're going to listen to you. They're going to look at your character, how you behave towards them. Yeah. All right. I, I should have said something which I saw, but I don't want to take much of the time, so... There's this a charity. This charity is in Uganda, I think. It's in Uganda. It's the non-Muslim charity. What they do, they walk around, they see those people who are mentally ill, they're walking around, very dirty. What they do, they force them, they hold them, they clean them, take them, clean them, take the clothes off, and give them a new clothes. And look after them. You know what? Even these people who are mentally ill, now they value them. Whenever they see them, they go towards them. Because they realize that they are helping them. But at the beginning, it was difficult. So as a Muslim, you should not be somebody who is always driving people away. No matter how they look. You should be a person who is well approaching. That is said, Waswahibi Belgium. 
your classmate. Be helpful to them. Be kind to them. Your colleagues, your colleagues at work. They are the ones who are going to testify how you are. Sometimes I can see you in one go and you talk very nice. I say this person is a very nice person. Like somebody one time was praising a man in front of uh, uh, Umar ibn Khattab, Khattab radiallahu anh. Then Umar ibn Khattab said to the man, why are you praising him? Do you know him? He said, yes, I know him. He said, how do you know him? He said, I just see him around. Come to the masjid to pray. He said, okay. Have you ever traveled with him? Is he your neighbor? Did you do business with him? Yeah. Buying and selling? He said no. All the three said no. Then he said you don't know him. Because these are the ones that makes people to know one another. <laughs> we continue. Then he said, Wabne Sabir. Who are the Wabne Sabir? The stranded people who are traveling. Some people are traveling, they get stuck. Today we have many of that. Yeah? We have many of our kids left our home country. They say they're coming to Iraq, they went and st they're stranded now either in Libya or in other places. When they call you, say, no, I don't want to talk to you. You come there, find a way. You can't even tell them, look, I'm willing to pay for you to go back. I'm not willing to pay for you to go into that water. And you leave them stranded there until they die. They call you, you start crying. Is a problem. So what does it mean? Those people who are traveling and they got stranded. I think he was asking that question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because he wants to possess He's one. very, very interested <laughs> in that topic. I know that. Yeah. Boy, he's very far away now. You can't get it now. You can't get it now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and those whom your right hand possess, that was during the time of jihad. It happens that certain people were regarded as slaves and alhamdulillah that has already finished for now alhamdulillah we ask the almighty allah to help us that we continue inshallah then he concluded the verse allah, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concluded the verse by saying in the you know what look at it he uses the emphasis of inna inna they call it in arabic Half Nasbin Watokit is a letter that emphasizes statements. So if you have doubt, be careful. Don't, if you have doubt of everything that is past, don't doubt this one. Because if you doubt this one, you're not going to do anything at the back. So he's giving you your encouragement now. He's telling you this is what you should be waiting for. If you, he said, Allah does not love, He does not like, He does not care about. Be careful. If Allah doesn't like him, he doesn't care about you. You are doomed. If Allah is angry with me, I am doomed. To perish in this dunya and in the end of time will be the worst. He said, In Allah, indeed Allah, la yuhibu, he does not like. Man kana muhtalam. Who is that arrogant individual? How are you going to be arrogant? What does arrogant relate to these verses at the top? Allah is giving you nasiha, he's giving you advice, he's giving you command. And he starts telling me, oh, these are things they said already in 13, 14, 1400 years ago. These only matches in the Arabia Peninsula, not here. We are now an advanced society, 21st century. We can think for ourselves, we can produce things. Yeah. That's arrogant. Because you've reached that you have submarines that goes on the water, you can dig tunnels on the water, you can fly flights that has 400 people in there with their luggage and nothing happens to it until it lands, it starts being arrogant. I'm wise enough. So I know things. So I can think for myself. So Allah says, indeed Allah doesn't like Mankana Muhtal and that arrogant person, Fahuran is always pompous and showing off. And telling people I am a better person. It's through my effort I got all this. So I'll stop there. Inshallah, I don't want to take the whole session. 
Allah 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 all right, then I will give it to those who are in front of me. Uh -huh. So I go into the middle course, isn't it? Yeah. Good, mashallah. What kind of link between the last phrase I have already told you, whenever you read any ayah, the last phrase, the last phrase that comes, you must pay more attention to it because it all what it says that comes after it that is what is holding it is there any kind of link between all what Allah had mentioned on the top there and this phrase that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not love or like those people who are arrogant and boastful. Is there any link at all? Common person like me, I'm so confused. And I want to go to Jannah, but I you say this is one of the asbab to follow the Jannah. Yes, is there any link at all? Personally, I would say love. Okay. Who we, who we love and who we doesn't love. Who he loves and who yeah. he doesn't love. At the top, all the list of the type of people who he loves, and he finishes with who he doesn't love. Okay. So love is a common link. Okay. Um, did you he hear what Brother Brahman said? He said the link is the type of people Allah loves and those whom Allah doesn't love. That's the link to what Allah mentioned above. That is Abdurrahman's opinion. opinion. We got one of the school of thought of Brixton outside there. Yes? So is there any link at all? And I think if you're paying attention, yeah? With what our humble Sheikh, Sheikh Mahmoud was saying, you will have the trend now. Any link? Yeah? Um, to my understanding, I believe um, Allah is warning us that if we disobey all what he has said, the instructions that he's given us already, mm -hmm. it is clear. Mm -hmm. If we disobey those commands of his, mm -hmm. we will be doomed forever. Okay. Now my humble sister saying that disobeying these commit commandments um, decreed by Allah SWT, um, or legislated by Allah SWT, we will be doomed forever, right? In other words, faced severe consequences. Now, yeah, I, I believe that Allah SWT is telling us first that um, in the ayah that we are to worship Him and Him only. Okay. Right. Mm. So we shouldn't associate nothing with him. Okay. That means he's just one. Mm. And um, like the next part, we says the, the next thing, like our parents. Yep. He's actually saying to us like he's one, but like we should worship. We should actually um obey our parents and um in the writing that they tell us. Okay. But like um, what did I say? There are two people, right? With mm. parents, like mm. these two people. But Allah SWT is one, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And so is Shaitan is one. So Allah SWT is one. Is Shaitan is one? But Allah SWT is one. I love that. Yeah, but Allah SWT is one. Yeah, sorry. No, no, you're right. I'm just saying. Yeah. You are talking about the main Shaitan anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's just I want to. So what actually happened is that Allah SWT is, is make a demarcation from and uh, yeah. from others, yeah. right? Yeah. And but we've got two two parents mm -hmm. one of them can die but mm -hmm. he's saying to us we should actually pay attention to them yeah. and we should actually um assist them in whatever need we can and so mm -hmm. on and so forth yeah and in the very end like yeah he's talking now about people who are boastful so yeah. people can be boastful to 
the appearance. Okay. In a wrong way that 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 like um like uh, they can um do uh, what Allah wanna said to do for them. Okay. But mm -hmm. shouldn't take it to extremes, right? Okay. To 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 show to others that he, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. In other words, being boastful for what they do to their parents or for their parents, actually. Yes. yes okay. Yes. So yeah, well, it's sort of it's like um somebody who worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, but like um they, <coughs> as you say something about um like you pray, mm -hmm. but you're showing off, for, showing off or something like that, right? Marshals. So okay, yeah, it's like yeah. All right. So, so if I can say this in not show that my brother is saying the link between the last. Um, phrase of the ayah so what Allah have mentioned in the middle or the beginning up to the end is to tell us that sometimes people of course when you do ibadah Allah SWT wants you to worship him but as Sheikh was saying and the humble Sheikh as well both of them were, she were saying that you must not be boastful you don't do it to show off that's the first thing so Allah does not like those people who do this in order to satisfy man and also as well, you can be kind to your parents sometimes or do things, but you don't do it because you want to please Allah, but you do it and showing up there that I can do this to my parents or for my parents. So Allah does not like those people. So that's the link. Anyone else? In a nutshell, a very quick, brief, straight to the point. What's the link of where Allah SWT saying Allah does not love those who are arrogant and boastful? Yeah. At the back, please. the link here so that both um i call it legislation is about character beautiful anyone else before i go to the sheikh now all right that's good i think we will um pass it now to the sheikh inshallah to elaborate and then we'll move on from there that is very good i know that have a lot of scholars here MashaAllah, that's very pretty, I love it. Well, the link it is very, very clear. The link is, this one is only the conditions for what Allah had said to be accepted. That is Shurut al-Qabul. What Allah had said from no worship Allah, I mean, don't make anything. Uh, I say a partner with him and coming, mention so many things. This one is the condition for him to accept it for you. So the real good service deeds and so forth, it will not come from arrogance. Allah will not accept it for you. It will not also come from showing off. Proud, no. Okay. Now you're talking about the parent. Immediately after Allah had said, don't make partners with him, worship him alone, he brought the parent. That's to show you how important it is. But subhanAllah, this is what you used to forget most of the time. Some of us, mashallah, the siblings, they have about nine or eight siblings, isn't it? Is there anybody who has brothers and sisters? Ten brothers and sisters? Ten no. brothers and sisters, do you? Oh, you have one. Hey, Allah have one. Allah. Masha Allah. Allah. That is very pretty. Somebody as well. Uh-huh. Allah, Allah, Allah have I love it. Ten. Hey. Masha oh. Allah. Hey, Adrama. Hey. We got so many here. Ten. Allah have one. Masha Allah. Masha Allah. Hey. hey. Yeah, you see? Africa is beautiful. A mother can take care of 10 children. 
but ten children cannot take care of a mother. Of a mother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amazing. Mother can take care of ten children. Ten children, you know. But the ten children cannot take care of the mother. One mother. It's very sad. Some of them they have so many children all over. And when the day comes, they could hardly get something to eat. It's so sad, isn't it? Very, very sad. It shouldn't be like that. If a mother, sometimes the father is not even there. Isn't it? And she alone, taking care of all those children by herself and never abandoned them. But those children, when they grow up, they cannot take care of that mother. The mother is suffering. May Allah forgive us. Well, All right, um, just Allah shiyukhana khaira jaza. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our shiyukh, our sheikhs. Let's pay attention, please. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward our humble sheikhs um, beautifully for this wonderful, wonderful inputs and knowledge they've um, shared with us today. We have so many sheikhs here today, including my sheikh, my sheikh Khan. Yeah, my two sheikhs on the high table. And we have sheikh. Oh, Sheikhaz. Yeah, Sheikhaz, huh? I know you Sheikhaz. <laughs> However, we do appreciate your inputs and your knowledge you've shared with us. What we'll do now, inshallah, is to give opportunity to just to um, accommodate two questions. After that, we will um, finish the session. So, whoever has a, has a question, please do straight go to the point. I mean, go to the point straight, and then we will manage to answer your question briefly. <laughs>